In this video, we are going to learn about virginity. But first, let's learn some important terminologies. Virgin. Virgin is a person who has never experienced any sexual intercourse. And defloration means loss of virginity. This is the anatomy of female external genital. You can see here mons pubis which lies just in front of the pubis symphysis. We have clitoris surrounded by prepuces, labia majora, thin labia minora. We have the hymen, which is surrounding the vaginal orifice, the space between the hymen and labia minora, vestibule. We have the fourchette, the perineal body and anus. What are the signs of virginity? The signs of virginity are classified into two, genital signs and Extragenital signs. Genital signs of virginity. Levia majora are firm, elastic, rounded. They lie in close contact with each other and close the vaginal orifice even on abduction of thighs. Levia minora are soft, elastic, pinkish in color and they lie in close contact with Levia majora. Vagina is narrow and tight with rugose pinkish wall. It has a slit-like orifice due to opposition of its walls. Hymen is a fold of mucous membrane about 1 mm thick. It is situated at the vaginal outlet and may admit hardly one finger in an adult. Coming on to the extragenital signs of virginity. Breasts are hemispherical, firm and elastic. Nipples are small, usually surrounded by small areola and the areola are pinkish in fair skinned whereas dark brownish in dark skinned girls. Hymen, the word is originated from the Greek word hymenius, god of marriage and weddings. It is a membranous diaphragm at the external vaginal opening and it is a thin fold of mucous membrane which is about 1 mm thick. It surrounds or partially covers the external vaginal opening. In this picture, you can appreciate the hymen which is partially covering the vaginal opening. Types of hymen here, we have the annular type in which the vaginal opening is oval or circular shaped. Septed in which a membrane of mucus lies between two lateral vaginal openings. Fimbriated in which finger-like projections arise from the edges of the hymen. Cribriform where multiple small holes are present on the hymen membrane. Deflorated means torn out hymen. Carenchyle mitiformis or carenchyle hymenalis in women who have undergone vaginal delivery or in those women who are habitual to repeated sexual activities, the hymen tear apart and the segments of the hymen grow thicker and smaller in size and they remain as a remnants on the margin and they are known as carenchyle mitiformis or carenchyle hymenalis. Now, causes of rupture of hymen. The major cause of hymenal rupture is sexual intercourse. However, there are also many other causes that can lead to rupture of hymen. They are accidental or heavy exercises. Masturbation can also lead to rupture of hymen. Foreign body insertion into the vagina. Gynecological maneuvers can also rupture the hymen. Ulceration from infectious diseases like diphtheria or fungal infections. Pruritus leading to repeated scratching can also rupture the hymen. So these are the causes of hymenal rupture in case of virgins. But in some cases, hymen may not rupture even after repeated sexual intercourse and they are known as false virgins. This occurs when the hymen is fleshy and elastic or when hymen is thick, tough and with big central opening or hymen is situated higher up in the vagina. Now coming on to the difference between the fimbriated hymen and tone hymen. The notches on the fimbriated hymen do not extend to the periphery whereas notches on the tone hymen they extend to the periphery. The hymens are bilaterally symmetrical in fimbriated hymen whereas asymmetrical in tone hymen. The mucous membrane over the notches are intact in fimbriated hymen whereas torn apart in tone hymen. Fimbriated hymen occurs naturally whereas the cause of torn hymen is sexual intercourse or introduction of foreign body into vagina. Now let's differentiate between the virgin and defloret. 
first until labia majora which is firm elastic and it completely covers the labia minora and clitoris and does not gap on abduction of thighs in case of virgins whereas labia majora is flabby and gaps on abduction of thighs exposing labia minora and vaginal orifice in case of deflorate labia minora is thin elastic pink colored sensitive and covered by labia majora in virgins whereas it is thick pigmented less sensitive and not covered by labia majora in deflorate clitoris is small in virgin and enlarged in deflorate vestibule is narrow in virgins and wide in deflorate foreshade intact and not ruptured in virgin torn and ruptured in deflorate vagina is narrow rugose and sensitive in virgins whereas it is wide less sensitive and the rugosity may be partly lost in case of deflorate Hymen in virgins is intact and barely admits tip of little finger. Edges are distinct and regular, whereas it is torn in case of deflorate and easily admits tips of two to three fingers and the edges are irregular. Breasts are hemispherical, elastic and firm with small nipples surrounded by light pink or dark areola depending upon skin color, whereas in case of deflorate they are pendulous, soft, nipple are enlarged surrounded by dark areola. There is no presence of abdominal stria gravidarum and pregnancy signs in case of virgins whereas stria gravidarum or other pregnancy signs may be present in case of deflorate. If you are wondering what is stria gravidarum, it is a linear stretch marks on the abdomen which is commonly seen during pregnancy. Talking about the hymen examination, it is an essential step in examination of a rape victim and it is done with hymenal examination kit which consists of a glass rod. Moving on to the procedure, the patient is placed in a lithotomy position, labia are separated, bulbous part of the glass rod is inserted into hymenal orifice and it is lifted up and the margins of the hymenal orifice are examined. Now on to the medical legal importance. The question regarding virginity will be considered in the following cases of rape, defamation, nullity of marriage and divorce some important points to take home from this video are virginity examination also known as two finger test or per vaginal examination is not a useful clinical tool for determining virginity presence of intact hymen is presumption but not absolute proof of virginity virginity testing is not good at detecting who has not had sexual intercourse and that it can hurt the person being tested physically, mentally and socially. So let's make more people and countries aware of this to prevent harm to our women and girls. Thank you.